Hello there, my YouTube family. Uh, today is the 11th of June. Today is Friday. And I tell you, uh, we have some wonderful, wonderful victory that has happened with the passport. Uh, the new policy on gender change is in the passport announcement. And uh, believe it or not, uh, as long as you have the guidelines, included details information about what information the certification must include, uh, it is also possible to attain a limited validated passport if the physician statement shows the applicant is in the process of gender transition. So you don't need to have SRS any longer to attain a passport. So that is truly a blessing. Uh, the only thing you really need is a uh, letter from your physician actually stating um, but I'm going to put the website up on, uh, it's actually www.state.gov and I think everyone needs to go online, look for yourself, read for yourself and I tell you it is truly, truly, truly a victory for anyone or everyone who wants to get their passport changed because normal time you know after you've had your surgery and stuff you have to get your documentation send it to them along with a, a letter from your uh, doctor saying that you've had SRS sex reassignment surgery but the good thing about it is you do not need that anymore any longer so yay that's that's awesome and um, it says this it says the new policy and procedure are based on standard and recommendation of the World Professional Association for Transgender Health, which is WPATH. Uh, and you can go to their website www.wpath.org org. Uh, recognized by the American Medical Association as the uh, as the authority in this field. So that is truly 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 a victory for us all for those who uh, want to get their sex marker change on their passport so but anyway uh, I just want to say hello uh, haven't made a video in a minute uh, so I want to say hello to everybody and I hope all is well with everyone I'm actually trying to find this other email very quick um, congratulations to everyone who have uh, started T congratulations to those who have had their surgeries congratulations to those who are getting ready to have surgery uh, just congratulations to the trans community you know uh, keep your head up stay strong you know, uh, there's it's, it's so many things I hear that can discourage us real quick and real fast. And, uh, you know, I had someone ask me what was my, my favorite, my favorite uh, Bible verse. And I, I'm going to share it with you all. And I tell you, it is uh, truly a blessing. So hold on. It's on my... Actually, it's on my drum case. It's in my drum case. I, yes, yes, I do play the drum, so it's in my drum case, and I keep it, I keep it right here, right there. I'm gonna read it to you. It says the prayer of Jezebel, Jabez, excuse me, Jabez, J-A-B-E-Z. Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hands be with me and keep and keep me from harm so that I will be free of pain, my part I added, and that I won't cause pain. And God granted his request. First Chronicles 4 and 10. Chapter 4 verse 10. But I just want to share, and I was going to read um, one of my brothers sent the email. Uh, 
It said uh, June the 10th, 2010, it says last night the U.S. Department of State announced the new guidelines for issuing passport to transgender people. Beginning today, applicants for a gender marker change on their passport will need to submit certification from a physician that they have received appropriate clinical treatment for gender transition. Most importantly, gender reassignment surgery is not required under the new policy. The new rule will, will also apply to changing a counselor report of board of board, CRBA, for U.S. citizens who was born outside of the United States. So I, I, I encourage everyone to go, go to the website and uh, actually read for yourself so you can see exactly what is going on and make sure that, you know, the appropriate stuff is for you. But that is truly, truly, truly a blessing. And again, our president, he's doing a wonderful job. You know, you know, a lot of people, you know, you know, is 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 you know, they're so negative about him. You know, and the thing about it is, he ain't caused a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff was already caused before he even got there. And and you know, and you know, y'all can point the fingers if you want to, but you know what? You need to be pointed over there in Texas. That's where you need to be pointing the fingers at. You know, he's human. Our president, he's human. He came in and the mess was already, it was already, excuse me, shit, shitty. And I'm just going to be honest. It was already shitty and effed up already. And, you know, I give him thumbs up. Sass, he's a Leo. August the 4th. The man, yeah, I say Leo because I'm a Leo. August the 5th. His birthday is the day before mine. But, you know, I give him thumbs up for coming in and trying to, trying to work things out, trying to make things. He's done a lot in the GLBT community. He really have, he signed a lot of stuff for for everyone so we all can have equal rights and stuff. So I I commend him. It says we, according to this thing, it says we want to extend our thanks to the Obama administration and particularly to Secretary of State Hillary Clinton for understanding the need for this change and then responding to make travel safer for transgender people. So, uh, 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 commendative, commendative Maria Kinsler, Executive Director of NCTE. This shows how changes in government policy directly impact people's lives, in this case, for the better. So, I mean, you know, I, I'm so happy that, uh, you know, for those who need to get the passport marker, uh, your, your sex marker change, you know, you'll be able to do it. And it don't require you to have the surgery, SRS surgery. As long as you got a physician, uh, a clinical uh, a letter sh uh, sh showing whatever the criteria is, is that they are asking, you'll be able to get it with no problem. So, yeah. But uh, anyway, I just want to make that little short video. Y'all take care. Have a great week. Have a great weekend. It's hot as hell here in Georgia. And, uh, you know, uh, y'all take care of yourself. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for the friends' invites. And, uh, you know, remember God is love. And love is for everyone. Talk to you all later. Peace.